Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, my name is Luke and I am a full-time reseller. Today's video is going to be crazy. It was a crazy week and I got a crazy pickup yesterday. So I'm so excited to show you that later on in the video. Uh, today is the 1st of January, baby. Happy New Year. Uh, it's raining out, pretty gloomy morning. It's about 7.45 and I am headed to the office. So super exciting day. There's a few things that I have to knock out today. I have a local meetup over by my office this morning with, for a couple vintage toys. And then I have to pack up a couple packages. Sadly, the, the post office is closed because it is a holiday. So they'll have to go out Monday, but I do have to like package them, print out the labels, get them ready for Monday. If you cannot tell already, I am in gym attire. Got the gym shark on, I got the Naka hat. I uh, got a pretty cool weightlifting belt for Christmas and uh, they sent me a free hat, so why not, right? Yeah, going to the gym, I'm doing chest and back again. <laughs> Every time I record, I'm doing chest and back. Uh, no, but yeah, I had a good holiday. Me and my girlfriend, we, we spent it at home watching our favorite show, we had some good food. We didn't go all out, we didn't make like a five star dinner, but it was definitely fun. Super excited to show you guys what I picked up yesterday. I spent $150 for a bunch of stuff. One of my buddies, uh, sometimes he gets rid of stuff that he no longer wants anymore because he also he does a little reselling but he also is a collector as well he just goes out to stores and finds the stuff because it's the thrill you know a lot of people do it for the thrill and he just does it for the thrill strictly and then after a while he'll just get rid of some stuff and um he'll purge his inventory and give me a call so uh yeah that's what that was yesterday and honestly i i must say yesterday's haul was probably the most profitable trip I've had in a couple months, honestly. Uh, and it was super exciting once I started looking up sold comps. All right, guys, all right, guys. I'm gonna stop talking. Let's get to the office. guys it is local meetup time and here's what he is buying these are the three micro machines from teenage mutant ninja turtle from the 90s that i showed you last video he's buying those there's a mumra his limbs are pretty loose uh he's just loose he doesn't have any of his parts uh no helmet no dagger no nothing um thunder punch he man he's in pretty good shape uh Fun, fun part of this toy is this actually pops open and you can put uh cap if i can get it open you put caps in here so it's like a cap gun uh so and it still works um just turn this little dial and if the caps were in there they'd pop pretty good condition uh here's a monkey in he's from the thundercats as well um so these two guys are both thundercats uh he's loose as well he doesn't have any of his weapons um, not sure what this is, but he bought that and this, um, sure some modern transformers, I believe a modern teenage mutant ninja turtle. And then he is buying this party wagon. It's incomplete and, uh, it's not in the best shape, but yeah. So all this for $110 can't beat it because I paid pennies for it. When I get back, I am going to pull all of my sold items on Facebook marketplace and eBay and throw it on this rack and start packing up my packages. What I'm also going to do is, as you can see here, I have little labels that say pack and ship. This is the pack and ship card. What I'm going to do on these bins is put eBay and Facebook marketplace. That way I can separate the two. I think I have about 27 packages on eBay and maybe 12 packages on Facebook marketplace. So that is what I'm going to be packing up today. I don't think I'm going to be packing up all of them, seeing that the post office is closed and I'm coming back to the office on Monday. So I will be packing up some of them on Monday, but at least you guys will be able to see a little bit of it. Boom. And just like that, $110, baby. And while I was out doing that local meetup, GI Joe sold Firefly. He's 95% complete and he sold for 30 bucks. Can't beat it. So as you can see, I have a lot of work to do. Uh, print labels and ship 28. All right, guys, I'm going to stop rambling 
and I am going to show you what I got yesterday's haul. Got this pretty cool Buzz Lightyear. He is not brand new. He's been out of the box before, but he is in pretty mint shape and I should get about a hundred to $120 on him. I sold them before. It's in mint condition, guys, let me tell you. And by the way, for this entire pile and the two bags of cameras, I paid $150. Cool thing about the Buzz, he already came with a perfect size box, so when he sells, I'll use that box to ship him out. Next thing I got was this brand new and packaged uh, Voltron. Obviously, it's not from the 80s. It's from like 2017, but still brand new and packaged and will sell for a good amount of money. This Tyco Crash Dummy Kit, and inside was loaded with stuff all this stuff sells individually there's even some characters their limbs pop off pretty funny if you press the buttons there's like stop signs speed limit signs there's the crash wall there's the crash dummy car all this stuff comes apart because it is the, the crash dummy set there's like a motorcycle, a bunch of other stuff. And then there's on the on the bottom, if you can see there, there's a base to the set. So I'm not sure whether or not I am going to sell the entire set as a whole or just part it out because I can make money either way. Got these two funny looking South Park lushes. They both still have their tags. Um, I believe it's 1998. Yep, 1998. They're in mint condition. Uh, usually you see these black parts tearing apart like their feet. Uh, tearing apart and peeling. I mean, you see a little bit of it here, but not as bad as uh, some of them, and they still have their tags. Those go for like 20 a piece. A light speed rescue Power Ranger. And I wanted to show you guys something pretty cool. If you download the app Google Lens on the Apple Store and you take a picture of something that you are unsure of, all your options will pop up and it'll tell you exactly what it is and what it's worth. That way you can look it up on eBay. Got this pretty cool Disney black hole. It's a trading card, uh, kind of like all the trading card packs would go in here and then it would be sealed. Obviously it's not sealed. Uh, it's from 1979. And the funny story about this is I actually sold these two characters, these action figures at the top the other day for $100 plus shipping. So be on the lookout for Disney Black Hole action figures. They sell really well and they sell very quick. Can never go wrong with a Thundercats paperback book. Also got this Princess of Power book and it's actually hardcover, which you don't see a lot. Shogun Warriors comic book, another NECA Godzilla set. And guys, look at this guy. NECA does an amazing job on their action figures, I must say. Just like the detail on this Godzilla is just insane. So that'll go for like 45, 50 bucks. So these are actually modern and I got two of them. But looking at sold comps, they're selling for good money, brand new. Even used out of the box and her sword sold for 25. Used out of the box sold for $45. So got two brand new and packaged ones right here. This next one's pretty cool. We got Roman Reigns, the regular version and then we got Roman Reigns the zombie version then we have the Undertaker and the Undertaker zombie pretty cool set what I'll probably do with these is obviously pair them with their match and sell them as is I don't sell them individually if I sell them individually I'll probably get five each but if I sell them as a pair, I'll probably get like 15 each set, which is 30 bucks. This Batman and Robin set as Mr. Freeze. Pretty funny, pretty funny. Obviously, this guy has never been out of the package. But what I thought was weird was it has been double taped. So I'm not sure if that's like the original seal or not. But um, obviously, you can even tell in the gun like the bubble has not been taking off. It's brand new. So I'll probably put in the description that... Uh, it may have been double taped and put back in, but still in mint condition in the box. Got this Olympus Flash Power Grip. I mean, honestly, guys, mint condition. I wouldn't say brand new, but I don't think it was ever used. Man at Arms Lego set. Uh, he's going for like 15, 20 bucks by himself. This mint condition Garfield plush from 1981. Look at that thing, still with the tag on it. And of course, a bunch of loose action figures. All right, I got all that cool stuff yesterday, but I already made my profit back on this trip. I got two camera bags full of lenses and cameras. I open them up, I start looking up sold comps. And I was pleasantly surprised, I must say. Craziest haul I've had in a while. So I posted three of these lenses that are in this bag and they are already all sold. Pretty, pretty nuts. So the first one being a Olympus digital 45 millimeter. It looks like that. 
and it has the hood cover. Next one being a Olympus Digital 12 millimeter, also with the hood cover. And then the bigger one was a 75 millimeter by Olympus as well. And that also had its hood cover. I started looking up sold comps. Crazy guys, I was in shock. I have the camera as well in the bag uh, with another lens. This lens is the uh, Luminix Panasonic HX025, which I think goes for like 200 bucks. I'll pop a sold comp over here. And then the camera body is a Olympus OMD M5. And I've seen models uh, with the touchscreen in the back. I've seen models of these go upwards of $1,200. Crazy score, guys. I got like battery packs in here, chargers. And this is just the first bag. Once I looked up these sold comps, I was so excited to list that I literally just went into my home office. I pulled out a ring ring light, not even a LED light box or anything like that, a circle ring light that I use for recording and I started listing and guys, literally not even an hour after I posted these three lens, they sold. So the 75 millimeter sold for $400 plus shipping. The 45 millimeter sold for 119 plus shipping and the 12 millimeter sold for $299 plus shipping in less than an hour, guys. So guys, let me put it into perspective. So guys, let me put it into perspective. So guys, let me put it in perspective for you. I spent $150 at around two, three o'clock in the afternoon and at 8 p.m. I have $850 in my pocket. Was at $700 of profit in less than 24 hours. The biggest grab I've ever had. And guys, I have another bag full of lenses and cameras to list. And I still have to list the camera body of that M5. So guys, very profitable trip. I am so happy with the outcome. Shout out to my buddy who sold me this stuff. He was super stoked for me that uh, he found out that I did so well. He's not one of those guys where he's like, oh man, I shouldn't have sold you that. Super cool guy, very thankful for him. And starting off the new year the right way. Now that I shared the exciting news with you guys, it is about time to start packing up some packages. That way I could get out of here and start Lifting, getting these gains, baby. Chest and back day, my favorite day. Like I told you guys before, super stoked for the gym. Stay tuned. When I like packaging my packages up, I like putting these cards in them. I ordered 500 more of them, put them in each and every package. Ever since I started doing these, my positive feedback has skyrocketed. I mean skyrocketed. So it's very important to make sure your customers are satisfied with the product and that they know that you'll be able to help if they ever have issues. This is just one of the ways to satisfy your customer you want to make sure you have happy customers and they are leaving good feedbacks because it will reflect on your sales in the future here is everything that sold over the past few days put the labels on the bins ebay here and facebook marketplace there all the ebay like the bigger stuff will go on top and all the bigger stuff for facebook marketplace will go on the bottom that steel tech also sold and the lakers bin over there so guys let's get the packing <laughs> Just wanted to stop here guys and show you that I put the zip code on each and every package. That way when I am putting on the shipping label, I, I look at the zip code on the shipping label and I look at the zip code on the box and I match them up. Makes my life a lot easier. <laughs> Like I said, guys, I wasn't packing everything up, but basically those are my Facebook packages going out Monday 
that's the bigger eBay package and then the few eBay packages that are going out Monday morning. Uh, the rest of this stuff here on this rack, I'll be packing up Monday and bringing Tuesday or Monday afternoon. You may have noticed when I was packing up my packages, I was not weighing all of them and I was not measuring some of them. Uh, the Facebook Marketplace, uh, if you ever sell on Facebook Marketplace, those packages already have prepaid labels. So all I have to do is print them out. And for the eBay ones, if it's under a pound, I usually just guess, which I would not recommend if you're just getting into reselling, but after a while, you kind of get a hang of it when you're holding it in your hand. If it's less than a pound, it goes first class. So a uh, majority of the stuff I packed up today was less than a pound. Just wanted to put that out there. What I do when I'm done packing is I go over to my seller overview, then I pr click print labels and ship. Then I'll click on all my packages that I packed up. So click all of them. Then you go to the shipping tab and then purchase, purchase shipping label. And then it brings you to this page and then you basically do it all on one page rather than doing it individually. I used to do it individually for so long, but this is much more easier and I definitely recommend it. Also, you would want to, especially for the stuff that is going uh, through the post office, print out your USPS scan form. It'll honestly save the post office a lot of time because they don't want to go through each and every package and scan them. It's easier for them to just scan one sheet and have them all in. Me, I don't go to the post office anymore. There is a toy store by me that takes USPS, FedEx, UPS, you name it, all of them. So basically I go there, they scan all my packages in and the postman and UPS man all pick up the packages from there. One stop shop, I drop all my packages off there. I don't have to make three or four stops when dropping off my packages. So it's very convenient. I would honestly definitely recommend looking for places like that in your area. It can save you a lot of time and effort. All right, guys, I'm gonna leave the office in a few, but I am warming up the light box and I am going to take pictures of the camera body this lens, I'm gonna throw in the battery and battery charger with the body. And then I got this battery holder that also sells for like 70 bucks. So I'm just gonna take pictures of these for now and then get the rest of my work done Monday. All right, guys, I got those photos. I'll be posting those while I am on the stairs today at the gym. I'll post the pictures here so you can take a look at them. I'm telling you guys, you should really download Photo Room and delete those backgrounds. It just looks good. Um, people are more likely to buy your stuff, honestly. So say goodbye to the office for the day. I'll be back Monday, baby. Deuces. It's a new year, guys. 2022. What is it going to bring me? I'm going to uh, definitely work hard. Hard work and determination can bring you anywhere you want to go. Comment down below. Let me know your goals for the next year. I know it's cliche. New year, new me. Oh, my God. New year, new me. I just remembered. The gym is gonna be packed. The next few months, the gym is gonna be packed. New year, new me. Um, but uh, yeah, guys, comment down below. Let me know your goals and aspirations for the next year. I am going to get a bite to eat and then I am on my way to the gym. Like I said, chest and back day. Always get those gains, baby, back in it. I uh, can't wait to get to the gym and get my session done.